Hey, fabulous folks of the YouTube universe. Buckle up as we take a thrilling journey back in time. Today, we're diving into the vibrant and dramatic world of the year 2000, a year packed full of life-changing moments in technology, finance, literature, health, food, sports, music, cinema, and politics. So, stay tuned, because you won't want to miss this trip down memory lane. First stop, technology. Do you recall the wild roller coaster that was the dot-com bubble? The turn of the millennium saw a whirlwind of speculative investing in internet-based companies. However, reality hit hard in 2000 when it became crystal clear that many of these companies were vastly overvalued, triggering a rapid sell-off of stock and causing a sharp plunge in the Nasdaq. On the brighter side, IBM gifted us with the first ever USB flash drive, disk on key. At a time when 1.44 megabytes floppy disks ruled, this little device offered a whopping 8 megabytes of storage. And let's not forget Microsoft's crown jewel of the year, Windows 2000, winning applause for its stability and upgraded security features. Steering into the world of finance. Here, the dot-com bubble burst left deep scars, pushing us into a major recession. But amidst the turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerged with the unveiling of euro banknotes and coins, a monumental step in European finance. And in a power move, Total Fina and Elf Aquitaine merged, paving the way for the birth of the fourth largest oil company in the world, Total Fina Elf. Flipping open the best-selling novels of the year. In the enchanting world of J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter returned to Hogwarts in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Meanwhile, John Grisham kept us on our toes with the riveting legal thriller, The Brethren. And Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins continued the compelling narrative of the end times in The Indwelling, the seventh book in the Left Behind series. Checking in with health, the year 2000 witnessed a medical marvel with the announcement of a rough draft of the human genome, thanks to the Human Genome Project. But health threats were also on the horizon with the discovery of mad cow disease in the US and the warning from whose IARC that cell phone radiation could potentially lead to brain cancer. Biting into the foods of the time, organic food had a breakthrough moment with the introduction of the USDA organic seal, boosting its popularity. The debate over genetically modified foods heated up, raising concerns about their impact on health and the environment. On the fast food scene, McDonald's attempted to offer a healthier, on-the-go option with their McSalad shakers. Bouncing into sports, the Sydney Olympics gave us unforgettable moments like Kathy Freeman's 400-meter win. The Super Bowl 34's climax was nail-biting, with the Titans' Kevin Dyson tackled just a yard short of a potentially game-tying touchdown. And in the world of tennis, American legend Pete Sampras won his seventh Wimbledon men's singles title. While Venus Williams began her reign at the All England Club. Grooving to the music of 2000, boy bands were on a roll. NSYNC's album, No Strings Attached. Smashed records, while the Backstreet Boys carried on their success with Black and Blue. The Latin pop wave also washed over us, with Ricky Martin's Livin' La Vida Loca topping the charts and Jennifer Lopez becoming a dual number one sensation. On a sour note, music sharing service Napster was forced to shut down due to a flurry of copyright infringement lawsuits, triggering a debate on digital copyright issues. Next, the Hollywood High Points. The Oscar for Best Director went to Steven Soderbergh for the crime drama, Traffic. In a historic first, he was also nominated the same year for, Erin Brockovich. Speaking of which, Julia Roberts clinched Best Actress for her spirited portrayal of Erin Brockovich. And who could forget Russell Crowe's commanding performance as Maximus in, Gladiator, which earned him the Best Actor Award. And finally, a peek into politics. The US presidential election was a whirlwind of controversy ending in a Supreme Court decision that awarded the presidency to George W. Bush. Over in Russia, Vladimir Putin emerged as a new political force, being elected president in March. Meanwhile, the Middle East was in turmoil with the start of the Second Intifada, a violent uprising that would last for years and result in tragic loss. And that, dear viewers, was the year 2000. An eclectic mix of highs and lows, triumphs and trials, marking an unforgettable chapter in our collective journey. If you enjoyed this trip back in time, make sure to hit that, like, button and subscribe for more insightful content. Remember to ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Stay curious, stay informed. Thank you for watching, we will see you in next video.